This is a look at the Genuine Briggs B3800 fill valve. This valve comes complete. It has the supply line nut and washers along with the nut and gasket to secure the valve to the tank. The way these would go is this washer would go on there like that. You can see how it's shaped. So this end goes down. And then once that goes on there, this washer here will go faced like this into the supply line nut. You can also do it this way. Put that in there like that. And then this is just tightened down onto the fill valve. The float is adjustable along with the valve itself. There's a little clip right here. Pop it. Adjust it. Uh, the float's adjustable with this. You just put a screwdriver in there, turn that. It can lift or lower the float. It also has the flow restrictor here and the replenish tube, which just snaps onto that. Just like that. And then to remove it, you just pull it off. restrictor came off in here. And then we'll get a few measurements. Get the replenish tube here. A little over nine and a half inches. And then with the nut and everything on this valve is about 13 and a half inches. Go across the top here. About mm, one and three quarters or so. And then an inch or a little over an inch for the supply line nut. Once again, this is the Genuine Briggs B3800 fill valve.